Well, hello everyone. This is Wayne from inventoryskills.com. Welcome to Inventory Management Training in Three Minutes, ABC Classification. ABC Classification is all about separating the vital few inventory items that you have from the trivial many you're likely to have and applying a different degree of control to those items. The ABC classification is also known um, as the Pareto Principle after a guy did a survey in Italy and found that 80% uh, of the wealth of the country was controlled by 20% of the population. Hence the 80-20 rule was coined. Uh, recently it's more known as the ABC analysis or ABC classification. Uh, back in the 1950s, um, a quality guru by the name of Joseph Duran coined the phrase separating the vital few from the trivial many, which is now often used um, in this area of analysis. So what is the, um, how do you classify your items? Firstly, you've got to establish a criteria to classify them. The most popular one is annual dollar usage. So let's imagine we're talking about purchased items that you purchase in. You have to look at the annual dollar spend on those items. Then you classify them into groups and you apply a different degree of control uh, based on those groups. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the, the textbook percent splits for ABC con, uh, classification are that 20% of the total dollars that you spend on your purchase items are probably close to 20% of the items and they are generally classified as A items. 15% of the money you spend on purchase items probably is spread over 30% of your items and they are classically tagged as B items. Five and only 5% of your annual dollar usage could be up to 50% of your items and therefore they'd be classified as C items. Now there's no magic in three classifications, A, B and C. You could have five, A, B, C, D and E, whatever you want and what degree of control you want of your inventory. And the splits, 80, 20, you know, it could be 70, 30. It's the proportion that's important to you. Now here's an example of a company had 317 items and they're purchasing $2.6 million of these items. And now the way you assign your codes is you sort them by the cumulative value. So here are the items. Um, item one, they sell 400,000. Item two, 195. Item three, 132. These are the cumulative sums. And therefore the top three items represents 27% of their purchases or uh, 726,000 out of a total of 2.6 million. So if you go to the next slide, I can show you the natural breakpoint. The B classification kicked in around about uh, the 68th item. That's the 68 out of the 317 or 21% of the items. And they represented 80% of the sales, which is 2.1 million in 2.6 million. So there's the classic textbook 80-20 uh, applying in a real life environment. These figures have not been fudged uh, for the purpose of this presentation. Now the C, uh, when you get to item number 159 out of the total 317, that represents 50% of your items, represents 94% of your purchases, 2.5 million in 2.6. So you can see uh, this company has a large number of items uh, for very, very low purchases, and therefore they have an opportunity to apply a different level of control to them. Uh, what type of level of control am I talking about? Well, for instance, here's your A items, B and C. Your A items on cycle counting, you could do once per month or even quarterly on your A items. Uh, but uh, your C items, uh, you could do once or twice per year. Um, you could do, for instance, um, stocking levels. How much stock do you have? You could have a low value of stocking levels for A items, but a much higher for C items. Um, reordering frequency. Um, A items could be day to day, uh, but your C items could be once per, per month. So you can see from this table, uh, there are different ways of doing it. If you're an automotive supplier, your engines might be classified as A items and your rubber grommets as C. So you can see how you'd want the engines delivered on a daily basis, but the rubber grommets, you might be happy to have those uh, delivered on a monthly basis. 
So a benefits to you is it just helps you manage a large number of inventory items very efficiently. A items, uh, your high priority items, have very tight control. B items, second priority, lesser control. C items, third priority, simple control. But don't forget, don't forget that C items are still very important. It's just the level of control that's different. You can't make a vehicle without those four small grommets. So it's, um, it's, the, uh, the, it's the level of control that is different. They are still very important. Now, for more information on inventory management, please uh, visit inventoryschools.com, where we have training guides and comprehensive spreadsheets that will enable you to do a hands-on and teach yourself inventory management skills uh, in areas such as reorder point, periodic review, inventory metrics, inventory accuracy, cycle counting, and of course, ABC classifications. Now, remember, with new skills, you'll stand out.